In this video, we're going to learn about security on a high level so that you have a very solid understanding of what security really is, uh, what are the, the key concepts in security, including the security context, authentication, and authorization. Uh, let's imagine this is a military base. Right? There's a security guard, and this is you trying to get into the, uh, the yard. Right? So you go here, and the security guard will ask you to show your identity. Right? You cannot just say who I am. Uh, the person will not believe you. So you have to show your, uh, your identity card. That will actually make sense to, your, to the security guard. Right? Uh, every person have many different type of identities. You can have your driver's license, you can have a student card, you can have an employee card. But in this case, uh, you may have to show your identities that is uh, provided to you by the military base or by the military units, right? So once verified that your identity information is valid, basically verify that you are who you say you are, then most likely the security guard will give you a access card. Okay, so let's use this as an example. Let's say this is an access card. So you will have a access card in your hand Let's combine this together, right? So you now have a access card. And this access card contains, again, your identity information, as well as some of the other information may be including expiry date, right? So you may only have access to this military base uh, for a limited period of time. So then you go into the gate. Now, if you want to go into any of the buildings, you cannot just walk in and we'll check your uh, internal identity card, this card that, that just was given to you to verify that you have the permission to go into each one of these buildings, right? Because each different building may have different requirements. You have to be perhaps above a certain rank or uh, you have to be one of the managers of this building, then it will allow you to go in. And when the access card expires, you would have to go out of this facility, right? Well, you have to return your card. So within this process, we have uh, three concepts here. So the first process here is that when the security guard verifies your identity, and give you an internal access card. This is a process of authentication, right? To verify that you are who you say you are, right? And then uh, provide you with this internal access card. And this internal access card is what we call the security context, right? The security context that contains all of the information about you so that when you carry the security context, to any of these uh, buildings, it will then apply certain requirements to your security context, right? Verify that your security context contains enough uh, permissions to satisfy the requirements to enter the building. Right? So, and this process is called authorization, right? Authorization is the process of verifying that your identities are satisfying the requirements of entering or accessing the building. And similarly, in a web application, imagine these are the different pages and you have this login page here that is trying to, like the security guard is asking you to log in, right? The process of logging in, uh, which is providing the username and password and verify the username and password, that is called authentication, right? And uh, authentication also provides you the security context. Right? Um, if it's cookie authentication, then it generates the cookie, right? And if it's token authentication, then it generates the token. So you have the cookie, either the cookie or the token or something else that contains your security context. And then the subsequent uh, a request go into the page, different pages will carry the security context, uh, 
uh, either it's cookie or token until that security context expires and then it will lose your uh, access to the entire web application right and when you access each one of these pages each page may have different requirements right so and that's the authorization comes in right the authorization process will look at your um, security context and then applies those requirements toward that security context to see whether your security context actually satisfies the requirements of accessing the page if it does then it will allow you to access the page if not then it will return http 403 error to indicate that although you have logged in but you don't have access to this page right and if you cannot uh, even log in then it will actually return http 401 saying you're not authenticated 